Hello awesome students, I'm Mary Rose, your reporter for today. This is going to be an exciting discussion. Are you ready to start? Stretch your arms and be attentive. Our topic for today is about global demography. Do you have any ideas? What comes first to your mind when you hear the word demography? You can use the chat box to share your ideas. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. There are words associated with the word demography, such as migration, statistic, analysis, nationality, group, society, population, people, and many more. Demography is a study of human populations, their size, composition, and distribution across space, and the process through which populations change. Birth, deaths, and migrations are the big three of demography, jointly producing population stability or change. Now, what do you think is today's world population? You're right! We have 7.9 billion world population as of 2021, while in the Philippines, we have 111.5 million as of Monday, November 8, 2021. Now, I'll be showing you the top 10 countries with the biggest world share in terms of population. As you can see, China ranks 1 with a world share of 18.47%, followed by India with 17.70%, and the third on the rank is United States with 4.25%. How about the Philippines? Can you guess what is our country's rank and the world share in terms of population? Philippines is in the rank 13 with a world share of population of 1.41%. Did you get it right? I challenge you to guess this word. What do you think it is? Type down on the comment box. You're right! It is the demographic transition. Demographic transition is a singular historical period during which mortality and fertility rates decline from high to low levels in a particular country or region. Wherein, the mortality rate is the number of deaths in a given area or period or from a particular cause. While, the fertility rate is the ratio between the number of live births in a year and the whole female population of childbearing age with the average number of women between 15 and 50 years of age over the year. The transition started in mid or late 1700s in Europe. During that time, death rates and fertility began to decline. High to low level fertility happened 200 years in France and 100 years in the United States. In other parts of the world, the transition began later. It was only in the 20th century that mortality declined in Africa and Asia, with the exception of Japan. According to Madison on 2001, life expectancy in India was only 24 years in the early 20th century, while the same life expectancy occurred in China in 1929 until 1931. Fertility decline in Asia did not begin until the 1950s and so on. In the case of Japan, it was until the 1930s that total fertility rate did not drop below 5 births per woman. This resulted in rapid population growth after the Second World War affecting the age structure of Asia and the developing world. Specifically, the baby boom in the developing world was caused by the decline of infant and child mortality rates. The West, on the other hand, experienced baby boom that resulted from rising birth rates. Now, I want you to guess this word. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Type your answers on the chat box. If your answer is remarkable effect, you got it right. According to Shigeyuki et al. in 2002, a remarkable effect of the demographic transition is the enormous gap in life expectancy that emerged between Japan and the West, on the one hand, and the rest of the world on the other. 
During the 19th century, Europe and the West had an increase in share in the world's population from 22% to 33%, while Asia and Oceania's contribution dropped from 69% to 56.7%. India and China suffered from economic stagnation and decline during that time. Great! We're done on the first part of our report. Now, let's continue the discussion. Help me find out these words. During the 20th century, Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Oceania had high levels of population growth rates. Africa's population was estimated at 220 million in 1950. And Asia is the largest continent in the world and nearly 60% of the world's current population inhabits it. It has the highest rate of growth with its population increasing four times in the 20th century. The continent includes the two most populous countries, China, 1.39 billion, and India, 1.35 billion. Some of the other overpopulated countries in Asia include Indonesia, 267 million, Pakistan, 212 million, Japan, 126.5 million, Vietnam, 95.5 million, and Turkey, 82.3 million. By 2020, the total population of Latin America is projected to increase from 480 million to 612 million. And the current population of Oceania is 43,415,046 as of November 7, 2021, Oceania population is equivalent to 0.54% of the total world population. Between 1820 and 1980, 68.3% of the world population growth occurred in Europe and Western Africa. Between 1950 and 2000, only 11.7 occurred in that region. Shigeyuki et al. 2002. World Population Share In Africa, 17% in 1820 and 6% in 1900. United Nations Projection 20% 20 in 2150, Africa. Increase of 2 billion when combined the population of Asia, Latin America, and Oceania. The population of Europe was estimated to have increased by approximately 0.4% in 2020, reaching an overall total of approximately 748,250,418 million people. Since 1950, Europe's population growth rate has never exceeded 1% and was ever declining between 1996 and 1999. United Nations World's population share is 7.9 billion in 2021. The current world population is 7.9 billion as of November 2021. According to the most recent United Nations estimates elaborated by World Dometer, the term world population refers to the human population, the total number of humans currently living of the world. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Have fun on your break. Let's continue. Guess what? Dependency ratio. The dependency ratio is an age of population ratio and it's used to measure the pressures on the productive population. The dependency ratio is a measure of the number of dependents aged 0 to 14 and over the age of 65. Compared with the total of population aged 
16 to 64. These demographic indicators give insight into the number of people of non-working age compared with the number of those working age. Dependency ratio is low until 1950 in Japan and in the West. After World War II, Japan dependency ratio increased between 1888 and 1920 and higher than the West between 1920 and early 1960s and also dropped in 1970. India and Philippines had higher dependency ratio than the West in 90s. Increase was caused by the decline in infant and child mortality and higher levels of fertility. Peak around 1970. By 21st century, the gap in fertility between the West and the less of developed countries became smaller. Over the next 50 years, cases of dependency ratios of the two areas in the world will be reversed. Aging of populations will cause a rise in dependency ratios starting in the West. It is important because it shows the ratio of economically inactive compared to economically active. The dependency ratio is worked out with this formula. How is it calculated? Ratio of the dependent population aged 0 to 14 and 65 years and over to that of non-dependent population which is working aged 15 to 64 years. Example number 1. In Philippines, which is developing country, has 41% of its population less than 15 and 4% over 65. This makes 55% between the age of 15 and 64. Dependency ratio equals 41% plus 4 over 55 times 100. 41 plus 4 equals 45 over 55 times 100 equals 81.8 that's all for today thanks for listening